Hey Virgos, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure that your post notification bells are turned on so you know every single time that I post. Also, if you're looking for a personal reading, then be sure to email me. My email is now in the about section, so look out for that. Thank you to those of you that are following up with supporting me through virtual gifting and your super thanks. I really do appreciate that as well, okay? So this message will be a general reading for Virgo. If it doesn't resonate, don't force it. There are so many readings on this channel for you to check out or circle back around on me when I do a new reading. Let's see here. This is going to be a Virgo T unlocked message for Virgo. So we have balance here. I feel like something is a go. Okay. Somebody's going to get the green light that balances out their situation and love, friendship, connectivities, um, you being more forward when it comes to communication with somebody, something will not be disrupted anymore. I'm telling you, something is not going to be disrupted anymore when it comes to um, your goals, your connections that you make with people. Somebody here tried to keep you in this non-creative energy or somebody tried to tell you that you had nothing special about you. You're just like everybody else. Somebody is very petty, very envious and anxious that you have some sort of full potential that they wanted you to be rejected for. I'm telling you here. Okay. I heard nobody can tell you about you. I heard the word chronic. Look, we have friendship in reverse. Somebody was never your friend or you might be going through something with a, a friend of yours from your past. You guys don't really connect with each other like that anymore. You're separating yourself from people that um, don't value your friendship or don't make time. I feel like you could have had a falling out with somebody because they didn't accept something that was a part of you or that you needed to do or whatever this is here. Yeah, somebody felt like you may have done something or maybe they did something to you. You don't blame this person. However, you feel like going in a different direction will be best for you here. The color purple could be significant. This could be somebody's aura or color. Okay. So there is definitely some sort of challenges. I feel like somebody doesn't want to accept blame. Somebody doesn't want to accept blame, but is quick to tell you about you and what they feel you are being blamed for. Somebody could be trying to judge you or they feel like you're judging them. Okay. I heard hypocritical. Yeah. Somebody, somebody could have felt like they reached out to you for help and you weren't available. Somebody feels like at the snap of the finger, you're supposed to be there for them. But it's like you have a life too. Somebody was always envious of you or somebody carries or harbors this energy. Not only that, but it's like they're in this ego and pride that keeps them from, you know, not meeting expectations to change something. Somebody just wants to stay the same, thinking that they're going to get abundance like that. They're only getting a pass or whatever this is, or somebody's only doing it because they feel sorry for a person. Message for Virgo. What is it that we need to know? Somebody was always dragging you down with them. You always felt like you were walking on eggshells with this person or this person feels like this. I feel like you were holding your own self back, being friends with somebody that you were supposed to let go of a long time ago. Somebody's not about trying to succeed. Somebody's about just waiting for success to come to them or feeling like they'll just get it when 
you know, somebody comes along to bring it to them. We have throat chakra and solar plexus. The numbers five and three could be significant here. Okay. I'm picking up something about you saying something, speaking with your chest. Okay. You need to speak up so that you can solve your own problem and move forward. There's something that's coming in for you or that there's a, a energy that you carry that you are nurturing. You're bringing fertility into your life. Somebody could be pregnant or very fertile at this time. I feel like you get what you want with growth, compassion, and putting your, your heart into it. I'm telling you, there's some sort of emotional loss of a person that you may connect with spiritually. I heard combine. Okay, you could be moving on from a person that you had a spiritual connection to because it took a lot out of you emotionally. I feel like you're doing this with victory and success and you're living in your truth here. The number six is popping up twice. So I feel like you're stable right now. Somebody here may have attempted to disrupt something that's supposed to come in for you because they're impatient with their own journey. So they want to see if they could delay or stagnate you, but that's not working anymore. That's not an option. You're going to stay balanced as long as you have your spiritual team and the support that you have behind you. There's a light that shines within and above you. That's the spirit of God. Okay. Tell me more about this love dynamic. If you have a love dynamic going on, somebody is unable to let go of control. Somebody feels like if they're not putting things into motion, that everything is out of whack. This is also a lesson that will be learned. Okay. Somebody has to be delayed or or um, not come into something to realize that they're making a mistake. The first mistake is not allowing the universe to play a part, okay? It won't be safe for you to love if you keep navigating how things are supposed to go, okay? Your guides know exactly what it is that they're doing, so allow them to do their work here. message for Virgo. We have dressed to impress. This is in like this up and down energy. Somebody here could be looking you up and down. Somebody is judging you based off of what you look like, how you come, how you present yourself, or you're doing this to them. Or somebody here is just like this blah energy. Somebody here is looking like, I know you could do better. Um, or maybe somebody's surprised at how you dress, you know, how sharp you look or whatever this is. I'm also getting dimension traveling. Somebody here has an open gateway to realms outside of the earth where they can perform rituals or they decide their own fate of where they stand. Somebody can't play God. Somebody can't choose who lives and who doesn't. We have overweight. Somebody could be teaching their offspring to continue to learn witchcraft or spell work to hurt others so that they can uh, damage your money, your finances, or allow you to be broke, bankrupt, etc. They're using the innocence of a child to sacrifice your money or whatever this is so that their child can go to college being a surgeon i've picked up this energy earlier on a different reading for virgo or this has something to do with their their parents their parents and their job yeah God's about to bless you, though. Because when you do things to help people, you don't always look for something out of it. But you do deserve something in the end. We have announcement. 
I don't know if you're going to be announcing something or making something clear or it's like a bell is going to be significant to the situation. We have happiness. Okay. Happiness is at the bottom of the deck. Something is being declared a content energy for you. I feel like something is going to change or make you happy around you getting a new job or going on a different path in your career, but you are to seek out information that will help you. Okay. Something could be a uh, temporary or for a short time, or maybe you only have to, you know, figure out how to get this information and things just work out like that. You're going to be receiving some sort of gift for you to start a career or for you to further some sort of like profession that you're already in. Yeah, stepping out into a new experience. Message for Virgo. What is it that Virgo needs to know currently at this time? Okay, so it looks like you're going to get some sort of approval or maybe you're approving of someone or something. This could be a place to. So it looks like there's some level of acceptance to your intuitive side or you doing the introspective work so that you are not blinded by clinginess or holding on to something or somebody that's not good for you. Okay, somebody could be finding themselves missing you. I feel like when you're intuitively channeling to the higher realms, you're activating something in whoever's energy this is. This is somebody that lacks shadow work. I feel like somebody has a complicated time um, grasping the concept of doing the shadow work. Yeah, somebody feels like they're trusting in divine timing to make the right moves, choices, etc. Let's see here. What's the message? Virgo. Okay, so we do have the south node that's popping up here. There's something that you need to remind yourself of, or maybe you've uh, come across something that you've already experienced, and this could tell you or show you what direction to go in or how to lead, what to use, if there is a need to create. I feel like there's some sort of action that you need to take, but remember how you got to this very place. You may need to um, take action to not do anything right now. Why? Because something is already in the works, but I feel like if you're going to attempt to do something that you should do it for the potential future okay work with people that are about something that want something out of life that you can enjoy it with them or them enjoying it with you to create balance balance is showing back up again there's a lot of things that's going to be balanced for you but you have to find the right people or people from your soul tribe or that are willing to be a partner to you and not just in it for themselves to act on this with. I heard that somebody's familiarizing something. I'm not really sure what that is. Or something could be familiar to you. Maybe it's the connection. Or maybe someone sniffing out a person that may be hiding behind a mask. Yeah. Somebody wants to connect with you. Or somebody is setting short-term versus long-term goals. Yeah, there's something about your ideas. Somebody here could have air 
in their chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, there could be some sort of incoming communication that you don't see happening that you might need to bring caution to. Somebody that's supposed to come towards you or you towards them for communication, I feel like there is a strong urgence of yielding, like slowing down. Okay, I feel like somebody's trying to keep you from being productive or somebody sees how productive you are and is trying to use you as a resource to attack. Okay, Sagittarius energy. This is somebody that doesn't know how to generate their own creativity. Somebody may be trying to harbor something from you. Let's see here. Message for Virgo. I'm telling you, something here is a trap. Somebody's trying to trap you, take you somewhere, um, lure you somewhere, whatever this is. There's some sort of trap, and this is the only card that's coming up. We have GPS in reverse. Somebody here may try to surprise you or tell you that they're going to take you somewhere to celebrate or do something, but it's like you don't have the facts. Okay, your light irritates somebody's demons and they want to try to trap you to bring you somewhere. Let's see, before I pick up another card, why is this person trying to trap you? Why is this person trying to trap you? Or why are you trying to trap someone? Because they feel like the people that they are around, it's like it's it's like they don't have a choice. But they you seem to make them happy. And they feel like they don't want to take a risk at losing that. So they want to keep you somewhere, but not want to tell you where you're going or why this is even going on. Somebody could try to bury you, or it's like somebody thinks that you're smart enough to, to catch on to what's going on in their head or that you will make sense of it. You're a smart person. You're very intelligent. Okay. Somebody thinks that you were made out to be a detective or um, it's like, you know, things that you're not supposed to know. Somebody knows that you are a special individual yeah, they see you as the empress. Somebody here could want children with you or somebody's within childbearing years or whatever this is. The three of cups. Somebody wants you all to themselves. They want this neutral energy with you. They want some sort of solid foundation. They want to come to your home or whatever this is. Somebody here could have heard a baby in your home. Somebody here could be watching you or run across your home. Somebody here is very much cloaked if they're doing this. You don't know this is going on. They could be outside your, your door. You have the four of wands. It talks about family, foundation, reunions. Okay. A lack of stability. We have the world in reverse too. Somebody doesn't want to close something out. Somebody doesn't want to be out of your life permanently. Okay. Let's clarify why this um, trap and the three of cups is in the cross position. We have the crown chakra. Somebody feels like you have knowledge. They don't have to say anything. They have that type of connection with you where they don't have to say much. Or this is somebody that doesn't really speak unless they need to. Somebody does like you. They have a lot of stirred up emotions or feelings towards you that they feel can grow with the right nurturing energy. We have achieving peace. Yeah, five of cups is like somebody feels like you're moving forward or you're they want to recover something with you before that happens. Look, the three of cups is in the middle of the deck. Somebody wants to move on, but not without you. OK, they want you to y'all to be on the same accord. Ace of swords. They want to create new opportunities with you, but they feel like um, they're losing a sense of direction or how something is going to flow. That's why they feel like they have to drag you or take you out somewhere. They know that it might not be fair to you or this might be unorthodox. However, they feel like it's their justice, okay, to keep things hidden or to do st things in a certain manner. 
but it, it could carry some sort of like lack of passion for them from your energy. And it looks like you're going to voice that. That's why spirit is telling you to move cautiously when it comes to this person. Okay. Cause they might not do something that they, they might do something that they normally wouldn't. Okay. I'm going to pull another one. Somebody's first or last name could be Bell. Look, love on the brain. You two are not on the same frequency. One person could be having love on the brain, daydreaming, fantasizing, nostalgic energies popping up. And it's like, you're not on that type of time. You're not crying over this person. You've made do with the situation here. You're doing things differently. You're very fruitful. Okay, Virgo, somebody is not, not getting the information that they need. And that's why they're reckless. This is a reckless lover. Okay. Be mindful of this person and how they come in towards you. I'm going to go ahead and tap into the reading right now, just to see what's going on in the energy. Messages for Virgo. Messages for Virgo. The only card that's popping up right now is the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. It's like there's something around work, career, money, opportunities. I heard infusion. I don't know what that is or what that has to do with anything. But I feel like somebody wants to peel back the layers, old layers to reveal the new. Somebody wants an opportunity to work with you, uh, do business with you, give you something, offer something. But it looks like something is not working out the way that someone anticipated or it won't for much longer. Somebody dibbles and dabbles into dark divination. Okay or is a part of a coven, or uses this when all else fails. Somebody has deep feelings for you, but I don't think it's channeled very well. And since this, um, this separation, this person may have harbored a lot of, um, you know, thinking about what life would look like if y'all were married, this person could have been married, okay? I feel like somebody wants something because of, of selfish reasons, okay? Not really caring what you want. I'm telling you, the emperor, somebody wants to have their own way, okay? Somebody does things by any means necessary, or that's the mentality that somebody has. And it's gonna make it really um, awkward or heavy in the energy to kind of deal with this. Uh, somebody here could be a hard nut to crack. We have earth sign, Aries, Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a lot of water sign energy and earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like somebody could be multitasking or trying to figure something out. Somebody here may feel like they're at an advantage here. Somebody could have two, two opportunities at the same time. And it looks like somebody's going to make have to make one decision to either leave something behind, uh, go back to something that they've already done or take on something new. And I feel like you're, you're doing a lot of uh, thinking right now. Maybe somebody's taking a break from the past or some sort of like unresolved situations. I feel like somebody is, is taking out time to think because of how somebody dealt with the situation. I feel like you might have stopped uh, dealing with this person. For some of you, you could be legally separated from this person. You could be, um, this person may have not been married to you, but in a common law situation. Yeah, I feel like you had to do a lot of soul searching for yourself. I feel like you have a lot of accomplishment accomplishments that you that you hold to a high regard. I feel like somebody has a space in their home 
where they have their awards or rewards. Damn. Somebody even may have a souvenir that they have kept from you or you from them. Somebody's ready to make a decision or to bring change in through this decision or to start something over here. And I feel like there's a broken home, a toxic relationship, conflict between family members, or it's like there are some things that somebody hasn't been able to heal from dealing with a person that they live with or um, family that they've grown up around or whatever the case may be. Somebody here could be lying to a queen of wands or a queen of wands is lying, stealing, disrespecting. Um, it's like somebody's not being honest. Somebody tells so much lies that they, they do this with habit. Somebody is a habitual liar with the uh, swords in this nest. Somebody has betrayed a family, a marriage, or something like that, and walked away from a situation with their head held high. It may rub somebody the wrong way. Five of Swords in Reverse talks about resolving things. Things could have been worked out or resolved, but somebody um, decided to uh, sell everything and, and leave or put somebody's stuff in a box because they felt like this was the right thing to do. It kind of um, hurt somebody. Somebody is a wounded warrior here. I feel like there's going to be like a quick installment of feelings or sensation emotions towards a queen of pentacles. I feel like it's going to bring on a lot of jealousy, competitiveness, um, and toxic nature. Okay. I'm going to clarify the two of pentacles here. What's this two of pentacles, Holy Spirit? Somebody's name could start with the letter M or S. Clarifying the eight of uh, the two of pentacles, we have the strength card. The number eight could be significant. Something is closing out, or somebody's ready to accept something. There could be a sense of harmony, fulfillment, or kind of like feeling of, oh my God, I can't believe this is over. We finally made it to the completion stage. Number 21. Somebody could be seeing August 21st. Somebody here could be a Leo. There's heavy Leo in this situation. Somebody just wants to get to the finish line, but be able to celebrate like they got this far. We have a uh, page of swords. Somebody's playing mind games or playing you to get some sort of like celebration, completion, fulfillment. This could be a Leo or a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Somebody's acting like, you know, the energy that they're in is confident. Somebody's confident about overcoming this obstacle with you. So that they can celebrate. But I feel like they're playing you at the same time emotionally. Somebody's playing on some sort of emotions. Or they're um, acting like something is not a big deal. What's the strength energy from this Leo? Or somebody that has Leo in their chart. There's a tower. Something is held back for your own good. Or somebody has to prove their strength or how strong they are. Doesn't mean that they have to harm a person, but I feel like something is held back to see what they can handle. Anybody could say that they're strong or they're all right, but it doesn't mean that that's what it is. Somebody could be trying to tell you they're strong so that they can get ahead or try to block you. 
somebody has created a environment of unrealistic goals, a lack of progress. Somebody is never going to change and they're trying to block you from whatever your potentials are because they envy the fact that you were able to move on and they weren't. Okay. Or vice versa. Yeah. Somebody here is financially struggling. I feel like somebody could be living house to house. Somebody's trying to settle down with you because they feel like you could help them in a way. Okay. Somebody feels like you could financially support or keep them in this prosperous energy to receive. I feel like somebody here is needing to let go of anxiety to recover. Okay. But they're anxious or somebody's anxious because they feel like they will never have you if they don't play the game how they're playing it right now. Okay. Somebody is depressed, actually. Or you could be. Somebody's depressed that you're close to success and they have to fight with lies, trickery, destruction, criminal activity to get anything close to what you're getting. Okay. Somebody has a lack of self esteem. And this is a big difference or something that you don't need in your life right now because you've come all this way to heal. You don't want to get yourself off track or unbalanced. Yeah. Somebody has a history of anxiety or feeling burnt out. If you've been feeling burnt out or you had that split second of, oh, I don't want to get up. I don't want to do anything. I'm not going to roll out of bed and get things done. That's the work of the person that, yeah, somebody is trying to get you to resist the changes that you're trying to make. Somebody wants you to go off script, okay? When they know that you have a lot that people can benefit from because you're a high priestess. And they see that this high priestess energy brings you long-term success or goals and they want you to have a lack of quality or low skills they want you to be a part of unhealthy relationships if it's not them but you're remaining consistent here with this knight of pentacles energy i feel like the more that you work at something you will be um connecting with somebody that sees your potential that could potentially be a libra or a scorpio okay and all your wishes will come true i feel like that's the last a little bit that you might need is somebody that will see your potential, help you grow or thrive in areas that you don't feel you could do on your own. Yeah. But somebody's trying to deliberately stagnate you or gain control from you because they see this queen of wands energy that you embody. Someone that's confident, attractive, passionate, independent, and determined. It's like you you magnetize your energy to other people and that's how people like you somebody it hurts to see you moving on and moving forward and just developing this new side of you virgo somebody is definitely mad i'm hearing something about history somebody wants you to be focused on how long y'all knew each other okay somebody's gonna try to reel you in or talk you into this, this insecure, uh, uh, low level grade of who you were with them. You dropped your guard way, so way too much, whether you're masculine or feminine and somebody wants, wants, or is attracting you through you being insecure, codependent, needy. You're not any of those things, but somebody has to make you believe that you are. Okay. This is a lot of dark energy or fallen angel energy that I'm picking up here. Let's see, Holy Spirit. I don't think I pulled from this deck message for Virgo. What is it that we need to know currently at this time? 
Okay, so it looks like you are set to be free, but you don't know it yet, or you haven't realized, or this is about somebody else. I feel like somebody's vulnerable to attacks from the enemy or somebody that is your nemesis. Damn. Yeah, this is why the South Node is showing up. Reconsider, remember, and now is not the time. Okay? Somebody's trying to wrap themselves around you so that you forget about the progress that you've made because they see a possibility of you letting your guard down for them or it looks like they know of some sort of established energy or you being settled, secure, wealthy that they want to take advantage of. I feel like they're trying to test if they still could run game on you because they see that you're a different person, but they want to see if you have the same mindset. Okay. You gave somebody too much leeway that could have um, kept you vulnerable to attacks. And if this was not a physical attack, this was spiritually. I'm telling you, this person carries a psychopathic um, spirit or they are a bona fide psychopath. You need to run in the other direction. Free yourself. Be rid of this energy. You can't recharge if you go back to the same thing that might have depleted you. Okay. Somebody's a whole narcissist and they're trying to exhaust you of your good energy so that y'all could be on the same playing field. That's what I'm feeling. Somebody's trying to use verbiage to get in your head. Let's see how they're feeling. How is this person feeling for you? What is it that you need to know? I'm hearing that song by Usher, Confessions. This person has a lot to say. We have here, I look for you everywhere. We also have, I feel the love. I'm hearing that song. Can't remember who sang it. For the first time I feel love, and I want to tell everybody, and I want to tell everybody what I'm feeling. I don't know what the name or the, the name of the artist is. I knew exactly what I was doing. This person wants you. Sometimes I stay awake thinking of you. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Somebody hates the fact that they had to learn something about it. Somebody just, yeah, look, I want to tell, I want to tell you how I feel. You and I were too young. It had nothing to do with age, but how somebody handled whatever the situation was between the two of you, we need to let each other go. They can't let you go. You were the best thing in my life. I'm hearing that song by Ayana. Anaya, I think her name is Anaya. The best thing is what it's called. I heard the part where the girl says, look what you did to me. Somebody could have been sleeping around or had you in a third party situation. Yeah, but you had so much chemistry for this person. The energy was magnetic between the two of you. For some of you, you couldn't keep your hands off this individual. Okay, that's what let you know or gave you confirmation that you were in love with somebody. Somebody could have been your, your karmic soulmate or your karmic twin. Okay, this was a forbidden love. And it looks like this person is ready to tell you the truth. I'm hearing that song by Christina Milian, Gonna Tell Everybody. It looks like you guys both have a lot that you want to say to each other. A part of the song gonna tell everybody from Christina Milian goes, I don't want to say I still love you. 
but it hurts me every day thinking about who you were kissing, not me. So it looks like you have a lot of residual um, feelings towards what somebody put you through. Okay. And I feel like it's time for you to be a, t a testament to other people that are going through the same things. Okay. They have stuff to say as well as you do. We have goal at the bottom of the deck, marriage. Somebody is trying to get married or to be a couple. Yes, yeah, somebody wants to uh, be unstoppable. It's you and them against the world. Okay. Somebody's going to realize what's going on with their, um, their children, their child, or why they're sick. I feel like you're getting to the root of the matter when it comes to this. Let's see here. Give me a second. One of these cards fell. Somebody definitely wants to get married or to be with you. Somebody here may want to get married or consider this a goal because they want something taken from you that gives you the opportunity to have delight promotion, money, possibly, or something that you can profit from. Somebody is trying to marry you to put you in a binding situation so that they can receive something. Okay. This is all a strategy. What's the message? Message for Virgo. Okay, so we have material attachment. I'm telling you, too much focus on visible trappings. This is like giving me the energy of strategic love. Somebody strategically trying to consider you as their soulmate so that they can uh, take your money or take on some sort of fortune. Yeah, honest communication is showing up. Expect a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Yeah, somebody's going to end up reaching out to you or you're doing this for them. Or this could be a third party reaching out. I'm not really sure. We're going to go over what this conversation might look like. What's this honest communication? Okay, so Queen of Wands is in reverse. Somebody's here to talk about the person that may be in their life or uh, yours or whatever this is. Somebody here is very jealous, competitive. They talk about you or there is some sort of word that's getting out or somebody wants to clarify if something is true or not. Whether it's true, what does it have to do with you? Somebody wants to find out if you had moved on or you got rid of something that may have belonged to them or you've already let go of the connection. Somebody feels like even if y'all are not together in a relationship and y'all don't see one another, they feel like y'all are still in something. So they're trying to figure out if you really let them go or is this really over? Page of Pentacles here. Yeah, somebody's just not understanding or doesn't want to learn. I feel like you're not getting anything from the situation and neither are they. I do see here that somebody is manifesting something, possibly concocting some sort of spell for this to work out. Somebody wants this to work out or wants to collaborate with you. This person loves you here or you love them, this could be a mutual energy. I do see here that somebody is urgently trying to get you to stay, okay? They want you to stay, but I feel like you're already stuck in your ways of what you want, and it looks like you're, you're initiating some sort of justice for yourself through dating, being single, living your life how you want to live it and not how somebody wants you to live it. 
Yeah, you're walking away from something. They forced your hand. They initiated the they initiated this, or maybe you did. Somebody could have a space in their teeth. The first um, two teeth in the front at the top. Somebody could have an afro. Whoever this is, it's a masculine. Somebody could have chinky eyes or small eyes. Somebody could be living couch to couch or it could be moving or relocating or whatever this is. Somebody has not healed. There's a lot of baggage or a lot of emotions for whatever somebody is going through, whether this is you, a third party, or an outside person. I heard the word hope. Wow. Do you see that, y'all? I said I heard the word hope and it fell in my lap when I caught it. It's hope. Somebody's hoping that you will tell them something that they need to know because there's something that's held back, but I don't feel like it's going to be held back for that much longer. Somebody's going to find the maturity to tell you something. They might tell you to meet them at a country house. Okay, we have grief and adversity. Somebody's no longer un unhappy or angry or whatever this is. But somebody feels like Something is not going to change. This could be their perception of you or what they want, what they've always wanted, but didn't make clear to you or you them. The number 11, 32, 25, 36, and 39 could be significant. I'm seeing 333. Three, three. I see two twice. So something is meant to move forward or to have a new beginning or transformation of a fresh start, okay? And it may be concerning somebody that you're moving on for good, that something is not going to work out the way that they want it to. They don't have control over the situation anymore, or maybe you don't. I heard the word proctor, P-R-O-C-T-E. O-R, P-R-O-C-T-O-R. We have hater jealous because of some sort of good news that you're coming into. Put it on my tab. Soft approach. Somebody here could be high strung. Somebody's hair is growing out or somebody's allowing their hair to grow out here. I'm also getting paid to be an alibi. Or favors. We have partner, stripper, pregnant with a pimp's baby or getting rid of it. Somebody's moving towards something. Feelings mutual. And we have winter. Somebody could have been carrying twins or is a twin. What's the message? Somebody was never trying to work with you. They wanted to always have the spotlight. We have unlivable circumstances released from hospital, money, investment, business, or property. Somebody that's in an unlivable situation thought that they could use you to obtain a um, investment in business or property, okay, to start their own thing or to live somewhere, to have a title to something here. And I feel like somebody, somebody's going through a tax burden. We have less than five to 10 years. We have embezzlement in reverse. We have daughter in reverse, hotel staff. And somebody's dumping their burner phone or whatever this is. We have 72 hours, updates, upgrades, 
glow up. We also have spending time with your family or the family's coming to see you. And we have all the time. Those two cards were in reverse. Somebody here could be an informant or is holding some sort of like secret that was supposed to be kept confidential or is. Message for Virgo. Okay, so we have Hispanic. Somebody's name could start with the letter F. I'm also seeing social involvement. We have bad boy or bad girl in reverse. So it looks like somebody here may be a Hispanic male or female that um, may not be a troublemaker, doesn't have a criminal record may be a loner or likes being by themselves or may be awkward and not having anybody understand them. Somebody here is not involved with um, their social part of their life at all. Somebody could be quirky or weird. Somebody could be turning down some sort of offer to go out with their friends. We have primary caregiver or guardian. We have foot. Somebody's to stay off their foot. Or somebody's not to step foot somewhere. Somebody could have perjured themselves on the stand, gave false evidence to the court under oath. Okay, we have cybercrime, data theft to gain financial leverage or extortion. Somebody lied about something that connects them to a cybercrime. Okay, putting you or this person in debt, okay? Somebody could have used your name to um, retrieve things. This could be taking out a loan, a phone, getting a home or whatever this is. We have drug bust or stolen goods. Extraterrestrial frequencies is in reverse, okay? So, Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.